Welcome back to the Wild Crest Parks World Senior Snooker Championship. This is a state of play in this evening session. We already have had four players this afternoon book their place in the next round. And this is the state of play. We start with Tony Drago against Chapel, And it's Tony Chapel that has booked his place into the quarters. Townsend against Knowles, our next match. And we finish this evening with Mike Callett against Jimmy White. And the players are with me now. Firstly, to you, Tony Chapel. congratulations. You're through to the next round. Yeah, thank you very much. Very, very pleased. Pleased with the way you played in that game? Pleased with your form or is that irrelevant? Uh, I think it's irrelevant. Um, I come here with, with no form because, um, you know, I don't play in the circuit anymore, so I didn't know what to expect. I started off, the first goal was just not to uh, make a fool of myself in, in front of my friends and uh, families watching. Uh, Tony Drago, commiserations to you. I can tell just watching you in your chair, just what it means to you, this competition. Well, it means everything. It just, you know... Excuse my language, I was rubbish tonight. You know, nervous, felt, felt like I played the game first time in my life. You know, I've, I've been playing as well as ever in practice. That's what the frustration, because if I'm struggling with my game, then I'm struggling, but I'm not. And then to come here, I know it's best of three. I know, like Tony said, he's been out of the game. The pressure is all on me, but listen, we can go all night. That's all excuses. Tony did what he had to do, and he won, and good luck to him. Can you put it down to anything? Because obviously you had uh, your fair set of share of chances and looking back on a game like that, that, you would think with those sort of chances, someone with your ability, who we know is one of the best potters in the game, usually nine times out of ten, you'd take them. So what went wrong tonight, do you think? Yeah, it's like I said, I felt nervous. It doesn't matter how good you are. If you don't feel comfortable on the table, you're going to miss. You know, I mean, this is best of three, but really it's best of one. Because if you go one nil down, you know, the odds are against you. But uh, like I said, Tony did what he had to do. After 12 years being away, I thought he would have been rubbish tonight, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and finally, we're going to do the... He's still got it. He's still he got has it. got it, indeed, and he's still in it as well. We're going to do the... the last frame, that last frame, he, you know, he, get, he let me in, but the, the half of that last frame, he played like he used to play 12, 15 years ago, long red, scored, but uh, he let me in, and uh, like I said, I couldn't take it. There's no excuses. Uh, we're going to do the draw for the next round after the next game. Any name you want to stay clear of or any name you fancy? No, I'm just glad I'm in it uh, to be involved. I'm just glad I'm still here, so whoever. Great win. Tony Chappell, Tony Drago, everyone. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it hurts, doesn't it, Just? We're going to have a quick break when we come back. More snooker. And it features former world number two, Tony Knowles, right here on Sky. See you in a sec. so you could choose our next money back special. We hear you punters, and you've chosen one that's got even our billionaire bloody excited. Money back on selected bets if Chelsea v Man United is a draw. Bet now, but don't moan to us if it doesn't come off. You picked it. We hear you punters. We feel at our best with a full head of hair. So try Regain Foam, the only foam treatment scientifically proven to help stop hair loss and even regrow hair, working deep down at the root. Join the growing group of men who use Regain Foam every day. Details from Boots and other pharmacies. If you've got more than one car, you can get a better deal by insuring all your cars on one Admiral multi-car policy. You can start with just one car and add the others later. And with Admiral Multicar, the more cars you add, the more discounts you get. So for one premium, one renewal, one policy, go direct to Admiral.com. Booking tickets in advance on a trainline.com could save you a heap of cash! Be sensible. Save with the trainline.com. Oh, my new windows are absolutely amazing. They're solid. You feel so safe. Absolutely knockout prices. They're fabulous. We didn't have to clean up. No. Our energy bills have gone right down. And for peace of mind, you get a 10-year guarantee. And we got 55% off. 
Ja. Hvor må de jo? Så hyggede de dem der. Get your free 55% off quote today at safestyle.co.uk or call 0800-106-107 now. And they did a proper good job. I can tell you that. There are times when we all need help. Help like the NatWest Emergency Cash Service. So if your debit card is lost or stolen, you could still get your cash from our ATMs any time of the day. NatWest. Helpful banking. Sky Movies Premier. Sponsored by Intelligent Living from Panasonic. This November... See the brightest stars in more of the year's biggest blockbusters exclusively with Sky Movies. Witness them. Some clothes, please. Oh, I'm sorry, is this bothering you? Who else besides you knows about this? And only the people that need to know. That's November on Sky Movies. To upgrade to Sky Movies, go to skymovies.com slash adMovies. Is while Chris Park called Seniors Championship. We're playing for a place in the last eight, and Tony Chappell has just defeated Tony Jago by two frames to one, so he's booked his place there. Uh, still to come tonight, Mike Hallett against Jimmy White is our last match of the night before that. Alan Robidoux against Les Dodd, and as you can see next up, Carl Townsend against former world number two, Tony Knowles. Right, time for our second match then. Let's meet the boys. Thank you and a very warm welcome back live to Portsmouth. World Snooker proudly presents the World Press Park World Seniors Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, it's three frames. Our referee is the legend, John Williams. It's now time to meet our players. So, would you please welcome Carl Townsend and the former world number two, Tony Knowles. Carl Townsend and Tony Knowles. What an interesting game this is going to be. Let's start with you, Carl, firstly, because you're back again. You played last year. Um, what can you take from last year's experience maybe into this game? Uh, I don't know, really know. I just, it's a pleasure to play Tony. I've never played Tony before. So, uh, no, never met. So it's a good experience. Is it uh, quite daunting when you're playing players like this? Last year you played John Parrott as well, to name but a few. Is it quite daunting? Because I know you've played the game at the highest level, obviously you've yeah. been a pro, but these are the sort of players that you, myself and other players have been watching for years and years and years on the box. It's a, it's a dream to play these sort of players. It was one of my dreams many years ago. Uh, so it's just a pleasure to be here and just enjoy myself, really. Yeah, everything's a bonus. Uh, Tony Knowles, former world number two and something for the ladies tonight as well. It's lovely to see you as it always is. Now, last year, um, Jimmy beat you very narrowly as well, and I know it sort of destroyed... I came against Jimmy White last year, yeah, that's right. Um, how are you going to do this year? Um, what's it like playing someone that looks up to you and admires the way you play? Well, I saw him play last year, and uh, he was very unfortunate in his, in his, uh, in his match. Uh, he played very well, uh, but he's a very good player, so I've got to watch what I'm doing. How is your game? In fact, I must ask you something, because Steve Davies said to me throughout the day, he said, ask Tony, when you speak to him later on, ask him why, that when he was a pro, the most he would practice for would be 15 minutes. And he said, now look at him, you can't get him off the table, you've been practicing all afternoon. 
that's because when I was playing, I was playing a lot of matches, so I didn't need to practice as much. But now I don't play as many matches. I need to practice. <laughs> Listen, lovely to see you again, and you. Carl Townsend, Tony Knowles. Any questions you have, you can send me a tweet, if you like, at Sky Snooker. Let's join our boys in the box, Clive Everton. And he's next to some kind of male model tonight. That's an obscure reference to my friend uh, Andy Goldstein, who's hastening from the floor to the box. He's arrived at speed. Head. You called a head? It's a head. And you'll be hearing from him before very long. How are you, sir, First frame, Carl Townsend. We obviously did something right last time. Although I have to admit, it's a bit strange this time you, you've asked me to sit on your lap. One. Decent pot, but uh, doesn't have black ball position. Yellow ball. Tony Knowles won. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Tony Knowles. Used to watch him so often in the 80s. Former world number two. And the man, I think it's fair to say, Clive, most famous for that defeat of the defending world champion at the Crucible by 10 frames to one. Yes, that was uh, the first time that uh, Steve Davis was defending his title. But uh, that's not Tony's only claim to fame. He had match ball what? against Cliff Thorburn. Oh in the uh, semi-finals of the 1983 World Championship. The pink, Clive. The pink. Did you commentate on that one? Can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was there, but whether I was working, it's uh, anybody's guess. You know, I've seen that miss it's... on the pink so many times, and every time he strikes the cue ball, I still can't believe it doesn't go in. Nine. Yes, had to play a nu nudging cannon there. I think I'm right in saying, and you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but the professional 16. players are uh, all over in China for the international, which used to be over in this country. And I think in 1982, Tony Knowles won that event. It was called the Professional Players Tournament uh, in those days, and uh, it was at Bristol. Tony beat uh, Joe Johnson in the final. Tony Knowles, 've just had a tweet in asking whether it was true that John Spencer used a five millimeter tip no not true a small tip but not as small as five millimeters thanks to at big Finn for sending that question in if you have any questions I can put to Clive just send your tweet to at sky snooker The Knowles of old there. Eight. May have overrun for his intended red.
fair to say that in his day, Tony Knowles was the Judd Trump of his generation? <laughs> How can I tactfully answer that? <laughs> Tony Knowles, eight. 25 on the board before uh, Carl Townsend has had a chance to go at anything. What do you make of the shot clock? Clive, we've got just under five minutes now to it. It starts up, 30 seconds a shot. What do you make of it? Well, I guess uh, it prevents players taking an excessive amount of time, but I don't think it's really come into it as a factor this afternoon or this evening. Now, Carl Townsend plays for Hayes Working Men's Club in the uh, Uxbridge League, two frames a week. That's about uh, his usual ration of practice. Unlucky to catch the yellow there. The idea was to screw the ball back down, the ball back down to Bulk and leave the reds up there as it is. Tony's got a shot at safety. Oh, he's taken that on. That's a good shot to nothing. One. Yes, well, he could take that on without risk. Green. If the red didn't go in, it was an effective safety, but as it did, he can play an even more effective safety. Tony Knowles, one. That's a good shot, and the problem Carl has got is that all the reds are open now. So he's just finding one which if he misses it, won't leave too much on. Just trying to flick the corner of that. Yeah, it's unlucky. Foul and a miss, Tony Knowles four. He'll play exactly the same. If he hits this, the white should just flick off the red and end up on that top cushion. Well, it will if he hits the far side of the red. If he hits the inside of the red, he'll leave choice of reds. Foul and a miss, Tony knows four. <coughs> Here we go for take three. Foul and a miss, Tony Knowles four. Well, you won't get close in that without hitting it. That was a whisker away. There's no limit on the number of misses a player can play if he's snookered. Well, you say that, Clive, but we are off air at 11 p.m. tonight. <laughs> Is that too thick? <laughs> yeah, the red. I think the red above the black is blocked by the red is just hit. Yeah, there you can see can't, the path through to that red has been blocked, so I think the safety from Tony. And I think you may have expected that that red would cannon in another red. This is a feasible chance from distance for Townsend. One. And I remember from last year's tournament, Carl Townsend's long popping was as good as anybody's. Yeah, and he'd be delighted with that little kiss on the green. Right side of it as well, puts him back in amongst the reds. Black goes into both pockets. Real chance for Carl. Four. 
five. Townsend comes here having won uh, a tournament in the English Association for Snooker and Billiards Masters Series about three weeks ago in uh, Fairham, that was, just down the road from here, actually. Played, started his first match at half past ten in the morning. Potted the last ball of the final at half past midnight. Twelve. Black spot not available, so it goes on the blue. Thirteen. Which won't be too much of a problem. Instead of using run through, he's now going to have to use a bit more screwball on the white. Time He'll be clock. thinking about how to remove that red that's on the black spot, though. As soon as he can remove that, his job will be a lot more simple. Twenty. Strikes the ball well, doesn't he, Clive? He does. The, the remarkable thing about him is that uh, he's not really lost any of his standard since uh, he tried the pro circuit many moons ago. 196 in the rankings was as high as he got, but as you can see, he's a useful performer. Like a fine wine, he's got a little age. <laughs> Going up again for the black. Overhit that. 29. Well, perhaps he didn't play for the black. Nice kiss on the blue. No, I think he did play for the black. There was no reason not to. Well, I just didn't think he could overhit it by it. I mean, he was digging down into the shot, but it's overhit a shot by three or four foot. Surprised he didn't try and play up for the red on the black spot. Get rid of that. That is still in command 34. here. 35. Wants that to run a little bit. That's perfect. <laughs> Do you think we'll get a ton in this year's championships, Clive? Hard to say. I don't <laughs> ask easy questions, Clive. <laughs> 42. Do you think you he'll take a red on next? <laughs> Are you asking me to put money on it or what? <laughs> I'll put it this way, there are plenty of players good enough to yeah, make a century. That's not what I'm after. I need a yes or no. Forty-three. Carl Townsend's forty-eight years of age. Fifty. How about this? On a break of fifty. Fifty-one on the table. I wonder. Well, he's played these pretty well and very confidently. We saw in the last match how much it can hurt a player if he's sat in his chair and there's nothing he can do. Well, they're slightly different for Tony because Tony Drago had his chances and didn't take them. 58. Fifty-nine. This is a well-made break by any standards. Do you think we'll see a century in this year's championship, Clive? <laughs> Still hasn't answered me. <laughs> well, 
Well, the chances of seeing one 66 in this frame are slim now with the angle he's got on yes. his red. Going up the table, yeah, blue makes it 99. 67. Wanted to bank absolutely sure of securing the frame rather than try to play a fancy positional 72. shot from the last red. So what will be interesting if 74. he does win this, and I know it's a big if, still a long way to go in this match. If he does and he gets drawn against Darren Morgan, what an interesting game that will be. 77. Well, he's shown that. Uh, He's not afraid of the occasion, or his opponent, or the strange conditions. He's reveling in all that. 81. John Parra beat him last year, and he said the occasion got to him towards the end. He had a chance to win the match. And afterwards, when I spoke to him, he said he saw the winning post. And that's why he lost. 86. I think we're seeing 99 in this year's World Championships. <laughs> This is tough. No, I missed it. He takes on the green, Carl Townsend. But that was an excellent break of 86 from Carl Townsend. He leads Tony Knowles by a frame to nil.